What's up, guys? It's Bookcatcher Mookie here with another hold, episode. Hold, hold. <laughs> this man just stole the. No, go ahead now. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Shit, I'll leave. It's my channel, but I'll leave. <laughs> another episode of Red and Blue Versus. I'm here today with the, the the god himself, the the, the white sacred, as told by Sacred Fire Negro himself. I was about to say something, but that's better. That's actually way better, and that's, that's a fact. I was there. Fact. He was. There. He said it's that. Crazy. It was crazy. But what's up, guys? It was funny. <laughs> what's up, guys? Hopefully you are enjoying. Hit that like button down below. All that fun stuff. Um. Yeah, it's the verses. All that fun stuff. Without further ado, in three, two, one, we are moving now. Go, go, go. Power. Yeah. So this man's trying to sell me some sob story that he's at like. What'd you say? You tried to tell me you were at Mount Moon with me in between episodes? Yeah. And I was just like, Damn. bull. This man's not at Mount Moon. If you're, at, if you're at Mount Moon, what was your magic card? My magic card was a Butterfree. You lie. You literally got a Butterfree on your screen and you said it. Because you couldn't think of anything. No. I haven't encountered a Butterfree once. I have found many Weedles. Well, I have a Kakuna, and its name is Harvard. Harvard? What? I don't know. I just wanted to name it Harvard. 300 IQ play. Oh, have you God. tried the new... Have on Showdown. Pokemon Showdown. Have you tried the new Nature Swap mode? It's like uh, the Omaha mod. I have not, because I don't... I don't touch Showdown. I mean, that's fine. I was just wondering. Um, basically, so what happens is, whatever your nature is, it swaps those stats. So it's like Mega Beedrill. If you put it in a, as a relaxed nature, he has a, a 145 base defense rather than a 40 base defense. It's crazy. It's interesting. So you got an Ancient Power Room instead of Stone Engine. Yeah. Um, well, another thing would be um, also Stack Attacka. Switch your defense for your speed stat. Base 211 speed. <laughs> and like four, four defense. Yeah. Literally a mock punch end you. I saw this crazy trick room team. I mean, it was on Joey's channel. So, I mean, everyone probably saw it. Who watches him? He had, uh, he had changed, he made a, he gave a relaxed nature to Alakazam. He gave a relaxed nature to Beedrill. He gave like, some other very slow Pokemon with like bad special defense, like sassy nature, and they were. It was just like it was a pretty cool Trick Room team, just because did they actually bulked out a decent amount of hits and were able to like power through. It's crazy. I mean, it allows for a lot of creativity. Yo, I want you to know, like the Pidgeot, which I did have to kill because it was gonna kill my whole team if I didn't. Like, there's Pikachu's in here. If I could have just had the Pikachu. Oh. Would have been great. Hey, Kevin. Uh, so this is a joke. Don't take it too harsh. Uh -huh. uh, but I have, a, I have a bottle cap. Do you want me to give it to you? Listen here. <laughs> I will set fire to everything. I want you to know, for this for, when you said that, my mind immediately went to, this is a Generation <laughs> 7. Why would he have a bottle cap? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I have two cases of water over there I just bought because I get thirsty. <laughs> I got bottle caps, that's fine. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Nice butter, nice butter. You know, I was going to try to get this tentacle leveled up by training on these Pikachus, but just, it's Pikachu. I ain't risking it. It has Thundershock, so exactly. I don't know if that's smart. Strategical. Whatever, time to get your team to level uh, 60 right now. I mean, my footage is literally just me training. <laughs> Where did, did you ever go back and fight the rival? I'm still on that route where you fight the rival, but only battling the, the wild Pokemon. I haven't fought the rival yet, trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I won't have to edit your gym badge layout for like a few episodes. Make it easy on me. Which I, which um, I need um, to make a new layout because the one I made temporarily for episode <laughs> one is janky. 
<laughs> it's funny, dude. That was it's laughing. It's janky. Literally, I don't understand why I use that. I think I made that at like three o'clock in the morning. Your your screen was tilted. <laughs> it wasn't even blowing. <laughs> Yo, I accidentally tilted in OBS because I spent like an hour, or OBS, um, Sony Vegas, because I spent an hour just sitting there trying to, um, what's it called? I was trying to make it fit in that little box, and I couldn't figure out how to adjust it. I couldn't remember how I used to do it. Then I figured it out, but I left it tilted because I had been messing around with it, and I didn't realize it was at an angle. Nice. Clean. Amazing. Speaking of clean and amazing, there's a polywag on my screen. What? This Kangaskhan is doing too much damage. Oh my god, I just got five. You are like... Oh, Devil's Lab. Comet Punch, Comet Punch. No, oh, Comet Punch, Comet Punch. Wait, does Comet Punch do that normally? Or yeah, it, it's two to five hits. I thought Comet Punch... Oh no, I'm thinking of Dizzy Punch. That's what it is. Yeah. Dizzy Punch OP, Confusion, the first move that, uh, if it, no, that wasn't the first move, lies, I'm lying, I'm stupid. Well, I guess the first physical move that does that. The first physical. No, I had a double slapping Wiggly Tough last episode that was putting in the work. But it's okay, because Wiggly Puff... Wiggly Tough is the best. Wiggly Puff? Wiggly Puff? Is this Wiggly Puff and Jiggly Puff now combined? Wiggly Puff? I mean, hey, he's in Smash Bros. 5. Totally, totally. You're right. I completely forgot. Yo, shout out, like, Nintendo, like, they had the Direct and everyone was just like, okay. And it was just a normal Direct. Nobody thought anything of it. It was like, oh, we have one more thing to show you. And everyone was like, okay. And they just saw the Inklings. They were like, oh, just more Splatoon. And then all of a sudden, you just see the glow in her eye. Everyone loses their mind. Yeah, that was hilarious. Dude, so many people, okay, like, I don't know about you. I When I was talking to, like, just a lot of people on Discord or just on, in general, on Pokemino, everyone was banking on the fact that they were announcing the Pokemon stuff. No, they said they like, were announcing that at E3. I know, but, like, dude, there were so many people who were so, like, persistent on the fact that they thought it was going to be the Pokemon announcement. Well, this I is mean, the thing. I know, I know they mentioned E three, but I there. Did you know they already? They literally just announced another May direct. I believe because here's the thing: you have to keep in mind it's Nintendo. So what are the staples for the Switch that we don't have yet? We were missing Smash. We were missing Pokemon. But yeah, Pokemon, which we knew was coming in E three. So, mm. and then I mean, yes, we have Super Wait, Mario. Wait, E three June? Yeah, E three is like June July, but um, okay. we have that. But then. I hope it's a mystery dungeon that they put on. No, so stop. 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 I like mystery dungeon, though. But uh, another... The thing they'll probably announce in May is while we have Odyssey, that's like a third... That's like an open world like a uh, like Galaxy was and stuff like that. So, sure, everyone's down with it. But we don't have, like, the basic platformer game for Switch, for Mario. So, it's either... So, next announcement is either going to be that for June or their May... Or it's going to be, they're just going to port Mario Maker to Switch. They could do either or, and it would just work. Yeah. You're not wrong. Or is he? Bah, bah, bah. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, it's not good because you're so low level that you're going to die. Bah, bah, bah. No, I actually might die. How come Kingler gets Vice Grip at level 5? Whatever. I that just, like, that just made me so sad. I got so scared. I was leading with my Dratini, and there was a Ditto on the screen, and I didn't know what to do, and then I was like, oh, wait, I have Thunder Wave. <laughs> oh, I if I just got critted. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I was about to say, please get critted. Let that Persian die. Oh, if they use bubble, I just got well. Whatever, I might lose Ponyta. Of course Ow. they bubble. Of course he bubbled. Oh, that didn't do that much. I was Ember. I didn't even kill. Okay, don't crit. If you crit, I'll cry. Xander, thank you. I just realized they got the speed drop. If I would have actually got outsped. 
Oh my god. I gotta go heal. Of course you do, because you're bad. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Ten minutes, of, and I'm still grinding. Speaking of bad, like, the Team Rocket and Mount Moon is just bad. Team Rocket and Mount Moon? Yeah. Did you know? They're just bad. Are they, though? Are they really? There's a Radicate level 16 over there. Sorry, I had people opening a door. What? I said there's a Radicate at level 16 in that place. Are they I know, really bad? And, uh, I'll, if I had to guess, its level modifier is going to be probably like 18 or 19. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Oh, I was about to go back to Pewter City but without battling my rival. Did you battle the gym? Or not the gym, the uh, trainers in the forest? Nope, I skipped all those two. On the way down, I did. On the way down, I skipped them. So you know what I'm going to do, just in case, real quick. I'm going to run to my... I have an idea. I have an idea. 300 IQ plays. 300. Nah, well, Kakuna's not going to win you the game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, how did you actually know I was going to get Kakuna? In case this Radicate bodies me. How did I know. You? <laughs> I mean, maybe you'll, you're going to lose one Pokemon, but it, it's not saving you anytime soon. I mean, look, it's sack off hotter in case this Raticate decides to just run up. I mean, it's not a Raticate, just so you know. Well, yeah, but whatever it's going to be, yeah. in case I can't Thunder Wave it, I'll have something to sack off in case Rap isn't doing the thing. Yo, I hope. I hope it's a Rhydon. What do you have for a well-played Rhydon? Nothing. I have a Tentacle. <laughs> With what water move? <laughs> what ground move does he have? Explain that. He just needs horn attack. Base 65. Okay. This it shut him up, guys. I got him good. Horn attack? No. What the? That's not a problem. Yo, why did I start hearing an echo? You better stop that. Echo! 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 I don't know what echo you're talking about, though. See, I'm happy that I had the escape road to get out of here the first time to get the Kakuna, but now I have to walk all the way back down there, so it kind of wasn't worth it. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you found an escape road. It's, I mean, that's some strats, though. Strats. I'm just going to start buying escape ropes now. Wait, did you buy that or did you find it? No, I found it. I don't think you can buy it, can you? I thought you could buy it at uh, Peter City. I didn't think you could. My video feed is probably the most boring thing just watching me train. Okay, cool. I got all two stage Pokemon, so they're actually really hard to train up at the beginning, but they're easier at the end. That's the only downside. Yo, Haunter has a weird cry, Gen 1. What the heck? Of course, of course. Use Confuse Ray, please. Oh my god. I was... I don't even... I don't even have a physical move. Why did it do that much? Okay, I'm actually getting bodied by a Haunter. Watch it paralyze me. Hello, Mayo. They got a crit. Mm. This is actually stupid. Interesting. Your audio got a little funky on there for a second. Of course it did, because I'm bad. I mean, how did you know? <laughs> So, wait, what was it that bodied you again? You said the ditto? Yeah, the ditto. Or what? Oh, okay, okay. I guess ditto is pretty scary early game. Depending upon what you have caught. How much did that do? Is it sad that my sack off option, in my opinion, would be the Hitmonchan over the seal? It's not sad, it's just truthful. Truthful. I mean, Dugong is a god, though. He's a better god slayer. Uh. 
What? So, on my way back down, there's... Fun fact, uh, pretty sure you're about to just win this versus because I was an idiot. What happened? So I was lying to you this whole time. I'm in Pewter Gym now. And fun fact that I did not know, Hitmonlee gets guillotine in Generation 1. Hitmonlee what? He gets guillotine in Generation 1. So all you have to do is beat Brock second mon and you win. I pushed ahead way too fast. Did it to myself. Wait, what was this Pidgeot crap you were talking about? Oh, I was just spewing it out of my butt. I was spewing out of my butt just the finest of lies I could conjure up. There was no matter what. I got my whole team up to level 10, and then I was like, I can go take Brock on, and he led with a Cubone, and I got through that, having to sack off the Grimer. And then he sent out a Hitmonlee, and... His double kick one shot my Dratini, so I couldn't even Thunder Wave Rat. I thought you said guillotine. Yeah, and then he guillotined the rest of my team. What? Time out. He had guillotine. I don't understand how he had guillotine, but he did. Hitmonlee, it's not popping up that he learns it. That I have screen proof that Hitmonlee was using guillotine. I mean, no, no, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm trying to. Gen 1 learns that via Bulbapedia. He doesn't learn guillotine. So, uh, unless... The move Brock was gonna give me was guillotine. And then, he, since it was his mom, he had to talk to him. Maybe that's a thing in Red and Blue. Dude, that's crazy. I can just check right now. And just try to level up the Dratini real quick. And just... But I've lost. All you have to do is get to Brock. Well, oh, sucks. so we're not... Wait, time out. Are we not gonna, like, you have to restart your game from the beginning, choose a different starter type thing? Do you want to do it that way instead? I mean, yeah, yeah I'm fine with that. If you're fine with that. Alright, then I guess that's how we're doing it. So, I mean, like, j just so it's not, like, Dratini's out of the question. Like, you have to choose one of the other two. Okay. And then, like, at that point, I guess, think of it like three lives. But... Dang, dude, that's that's crazy. I don't understand why he had guillotine then. I thought, I mean, I guess Brock's TM that he has his guillotine. And he just, I mean, that would make sense if the TM would be in rep would be on the Pokemon. I guess, like, I I'm trying to like, I'm trying to convince myself to an extent, cause like. It's just interesting. That's just that's just something. That's all I can say. God. So wait, wait. So you did train Tentacle. You and the Kakuna was BS. Yeah, the Kakuna was complete BS. I went and grabbed the Grimer out of my PC for sack off fodder. Dang. And he just he had Guillotine. I made sure my and he just, but he doubled to kick the Dratini, which was like level eleven or twelve, and he just one shot it. Yo yo wait, Guillotine. What was it like in Gen One? Inflex damage is actually can bring us up. Guillotine will not affect. Dude, if he actually. Wait, so he landed all the guillotines against you? He landed guillotine on the Nido King and then he just meditated on the. Um, what's it called? He meditated on. I the mean, tentacle. this doesn't make you. This doesn't make you feel any better. But Guillotine doesn't have the thing where if you're higher level, you have a better accuracy. It's It was straight up 30% chance. And Gen 2 is when the the accuracy I mean, uh, he against whisked, level... He missed one Guillotine and landed the others. So That's... Wow. Dude, that's... I'm like... I'm I mean, I just... For a loop. So pretty much what happened is I got screwed because Brock's TM is an Oko move. That's exactly what happened. I mean, not the fact of the Dratini, but I mean after the fact. What what was level? What level was Dratini compared to everyone else? Like Dratini you said, level was, ten. Yeah, Dratini was like eleven or twelve, and then everybody else was ten. And I had mm -hmm. I had a what's it called the thing that Dyer hit. I popped on Nidorino when I sent it in, and he just guillotined it. So do I get My to choose God. between the other two, or do I just have? To yeah, yeah, just 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 choose at this point, whichever one you want, Volpix or Sandslash, whichever one. The fact that you remembered, and I didn't. 
I guess I'm picking Sand Slash, even though its moveset's terrible. Um, which means I'm gonna be behind this entire game. Yay! So pretty My much heart you stop. Can, you can literally just sit there and grind to your heart's content, and you have a Persian to make sure you can grind to your heart's content. I and swear to God. Your Persian will literally just carry you. Oh no, I picked Sand Slash and now my rival will have the Dratini. <laughs> it's only Hyper Beam spam at the Elite Four, don't worry. Oh my. I, so essentially, I have to pray you fall before the Elite. Like, here's the thing is, we're not going to do the restart <laughs> thing after a certain point. Like, what's the. Wait, what's the certain point, though? Like, but what if what if I die, and I restart, but then you go on and somehow you die again? You're not going to restart? No, I'd say the cutoff for dying and restarting is... After Misty. Fourth gym. Fourth. That's Fourth a lot. Gym. Okay, cool. You know what? I'm fine with that. Gives me more lee room and you more lee room. That's fine. Awesome. It doesn't matter. You have a Persian. I just broke something. You have that Persian, which is literally just going to carry you through the entire game. And I have a Dratini that's currently wasting more of the time that I don't even have wrapping me. I want you to know I missed so many wraps with Dratini. On the Cubone, I missed had to be like five or six wraps. And that's why I had to switch it out to heal it and sack off the Grimer. Okay. So it was Cubone and Hitmonlee. Yeah, it was Cubone and Hitmonlee that you had for me. Dang, that's crazy. Oh my god. I've been thrown for the biggest loop of my life. So, I mean, I know this is like pushing it a little bit then, but I don't know if after this episode you just want to not play just because after what happened. But if you wanted to record more after this, I'm down for that. No, we were just doing three episodes today. Okay. Spoiler alert, breaking the fourth wall. We don't, we record these in probably seven three is what we'll do. That's fine. Uh, if you want, we can agree on like X amount of levels to add to our team, if I even have a team by the end of this episode. Even That's though that fine. That will just boost you further ahead of me than you already are. So that, that, means, that means I can use other Pokemon. I mean, yeah, but that Persian just got, that Persian's going to give you the game until you don't level it and run into like a Hitmon top. Too bad Gym 2's not here, so I guess that'll never happen. Exactly, so... Most likely you've won red and blue, but it's fine, because I'll beat you in Golden Silver. Golden Silver's my generation. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Golden Silver's my generation. Uh, you're, you're mistaken. Every generation is my generation. Literally, you got lucky because this thing had guillotine. My... Even at two meditates, my Nido King was eating up, or Nido Reno was eating up his double kicks. If he literally guillotine is the only reason I died. Complains about poison types, fighting type there, uses poison type to try to win, gets bodied by TM you were gonna get. If the TM, because here's the thing, it's not going to be changed again, obviously. I'm doing the same exact game. So if yeah. I go and beat Brock, and he does not hand me guillotine, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> it's crazy. That's really crazy. Wee, 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 wee. Wait, what? He used to hand you... Bide, Brock? bide. Oh, he hands you bide. Sandslash can learn bide, right? Probably. Mm hmm Mr. Let me just buy some extra accuracies. Hey. I was about to say, I'm going to have that strat up before you are, boy. We pulling up. Huh. I could use seal. Nah, I don't need another water type. I like seal. He's cool. But, nah. I really just need Professor Oak to stop talking. <laughs> Literally, like, next episode, I might be in the Reverdian for you. Emphasis on might. Wait, how far are we in this recording? Like, 10? 20 minutes? 20 no, 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 not 10. We're like 20-something minutes? 20. Yeah. 24. 
And this isn't my first encounter because I haven't even gotten Pokeballs yet. Yay. Uh, who do I want to train? Who is my starter's rival again? Or my starter's Pokemon? Pidgeotto. Um, I think I want Krabby to get the experience. I really want to get Vice Grip as soon as possible. Like, I really don't care about Guillotine. I just want Vice Grip. <laughs> Vice Grip. Trash. You know, I was actually playing Pixelmon earlier, and uh, my Corefish wanted to learn Vice Grip. It was pretty crazy. Did you teach it? Yes, and then I proceeded to level it up to a Crawdon, and I've never touched uh, Vice Grip since. That's not nice. You literally just, like... It's like, I don't even I know. Have, I have Knockoff and Razor Shell. Why would I need it? I can't believe you. How could you do that to Vice Grip? Vice Grip is obviously way better. The base, like, 20 move? It's base 60, or 55, actually. Oh, so this isn't... Darn it. You sand attacking me. Ah, oh, but we landed. Get the speed drop. But that did nothing. I really need Vice Grip. Okay, Xander, it's your turn. You're just gonna be so over level compared to me. Like the grinding's, like the grinding's just gonna get me to on par, but with you, it's gonna get you to like a little bit above all, a little bit above. A little bit, like you're just gonna run. Like you probably won't have to slow down until you're at Lieutenant Surge. You know this Pidgeotto is bodying me. I think this is the definition of irony right here. Please don't kill. I killed. Of course I did. <laughs> what? What was it? My first encounter was a hit only. <laughs> what, what move did you kill with? And what level was it? It was Scratch. The first one didn't look like it did half, so I was like, I'll go for another one, and then uh, it killed. What level was the hit only? Like level two? It was like level three. Oh, okay. Yo, 70 experience across the board. That's actually really nice. I'm glad I switched out now. I like how his hair moves side to side for Gary, a.k.a. Wilbur, a.k.a. Huh. W. Huh. Interesting. You should catch that Pokemon so we can do the level thing. Uh, interesting. I might Watch have on. to run from this encounter. <laughs> you found a Mewtwo. No. A Mew? I found a lovely Pokemon by the name of Moltres, which I've never seen over here before. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, I mean... It has Fire Spin. That's the only reason I would want to run. No, yeah, running is probably definitely the answer. As long as... You, you, I, I really would be happy for you if you caught that, just because it would... I have Pokeballs. Ten bucks, I miss any balls I throw at it. Oh, yeah, you can miss legendaries. Huh, that sucks. Literally, I threw, I've thrown three Pokeballs and they've all missed. I'm throwing two more and then I'm running. <laughs> you should probably just run now so you can go get another Pokemon. Unless you yep. wanna or try. I threw, let me, I threw, let me, let me I phrase that. Five, I threw five Pokeballs and all missed. I'm I'm running. Uh -huh. Literally the Carolina, what's your experience? I'm listening. Hey, this level thing will, this grinding will work because Hey, we'll agree on 15 levels out of a level 20 Sand Slash because I can't catch anything else. We well, Let's go over a couple minutes just so you can um at least catch a Pokemon. It's not from a lack of trying here, I mean... No, I know. It's, I mean, look, it's not that you're not. It's the fact that rolls and unluckiness on what you found. Literally five freaking balls and not a single one of them could like I didn't even want it to shake I honestly didn't believe I'd catch it just it couldn't have like lied to me a little bit <laughs> it's crazy god 
And I'm seeing things like I didn't see the first time around. All I see saw was poison types, but it's fine because I'll go up here and I'll probably see the same old Arbok that I got last time. <laughs> does he give Make you any? Laugh. Does he give you anything for watching the tutorial in this game? Nope, you get nothing. Please don't be the Arbok. Please don't be the Arbok. Are you kidding me? It's the, is really Arbok? No, it's Moltres again. What? This is a different route. This is Moltres. This one's level 5 instead of the other one which is level 2. I'm just running. <laughs> We might have to do 50 levels so you can. It's Literally, crazy. if whatever's oh, in Viridian God. Forest I don't catch, I have one mom. I have 10 Pokeballs to my name. I sold my Super Potion at this point. It's Anita Reno. Kevin. Kevin, it's yeah. not that bad. A water type runs house, and I already had this, and it let me down. Yo, Lapras is smirking at me, but I, it's not. And it let you down because it got guillotined. Exactly, so it's just going to get guillotined again. Oh, oh that's weird. All right, you ready to end off? Let me uh, kill this uh, Lapras real quick with Bite. Up, oh, uh, died in one hit. Cool. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm ready. So how many levels are we gonna do? Uh. What level is your squad right now? What level? Okay, so I mean, like, if you're willing to wait one second, I mean, you don't, I mean, no, it's best in your favor, not, never mind, I'm not even gonna ask that. I'm literally, so it's, it's, it's low-key stupid. I'm one experience on my Krabby and Carolina from level 11, so unless you want to let me, like, battle one more Pokemon real quick, if no, not, you just, don't have to. You can, you can do it off-screen, we'll just count them as 11. So you have two level 11s, and what's the other mom? Uh, another level 11, and then I, the other two, I mean, are level 2 and 4. I, if anything, I trained the Hitmon ch okay, Chan. Since his ace is 15, first. just uh, will 15 levels help you? Will that work? 15. Mm. I mean, it also. I mean, like, what level are you? Like seven, eight, seven, seven? And, uh, seven and three. Seven and three. Okay, seven three. So 15. I have. I could do four. I have four, like two level four. Starting next episode. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not gonna put them into one Pokemon. They're they're getting distributed, so. That's what I got. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, that's lovely. You you just outro because I'm I'm sad. Sad. Right. Okay. Well. Do you have? Do you call your people something specific? Spike Squad. Well, Spike Squad. Thank you for watching this video. There have been um, some gruesome deaths that have already happened. Only on one side. So it's, I've gotten a little bit of a lead, but I hope, anything I can hope happen. Orange drills in that gym. I hope <laughs> anything can happen. So I mean, I could lose in the next few episodes, and he'd be right ahead of me, or right, uh, yeah, uh, way ahead of me then. So I mean, it all just depends. Anything can happen. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and like down below. This is Bugcatcher Mookie, and I'm not. No, just goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.